Hey everybody, welcome to the 906. If you're new here, thanks for stopping in here and checking it out. Uh, today's video, I'm going to do a little history lesson on our old sawmill. Uh, sawmilling on the family property here is not a new thing. My grandfather sawed a lot of lumber with his old mill. And for you that are following along with the channel, uh, a lot of you guys know we have a new wood miser that we're going to start uh, sawing with. But I thought I'd pay a little tribute to the old mill before we get into all the new videos with the new wood miser. I'm going to take a walk on over there and uh, get you guys set up. 56 Packard. Everybody's got one of them on the property, right? Okay, so here it is. The old sawmill. This is uh, right up at my wood yard. Some of you may have seen this little building here behind uh in in you know some previous videos or whatever my wood yard cutting wood and stuff but this is the old mill so like i said uh in the intro i'm just gonna kind of do a little walk through i don't think this mill has probably sawed any lumber probably for 30 plus years so here's the uh the business end of the whole thing the blade here i got a tape measure here we'll see what uh See what this thing measures. I think it's 54 inches. Fifty-two inches. So that's the blade. We do have another uh blade around here somewhere for it. Um these teeth are all removable. They fit in there with a cam lock. There's a special tool probably a homemade tool that grandpa made up to uh pull the teeth out to replace teeth or sharpen teeth i'm not sure how they did it exactly so we'll go around here we got the got the fuel tank here for the power plant i would say better than 50 percent of this sawmill was homemade by my grandfather as you can see by the trees, it's been a while since it was operational. So we'll go step in here. Hopefully there's not too many hornet's nests in here. So this is the power plant. I hear some critters running around in here. Probably got a red squirrel living in here or something. Uh... I'm not real savvy on General Motors diesels. I believe this is a Detroit diesel. I think the second video I ever did on my channel, I did an old loader versus prison bus. And this diesel motor and transmission came out of that very bus. As you can see, there's, a, there's the rear bumper of the bus. So grandpa bought that bus he was a corrections officer he bought that bus at a, probably at a prison auction and uh, used it for the power plant for the sawmill originally there was a straight six ford motor that powered the mill but it was a little bit too underpowered so he decided to go bigger with the with the big diesel here uh, this motor like i say probably hasn't ran in 30 years i I would imagine with a little bit of work, probably could get it to fire up. Up here, there's a homemade air intake. And then the exhaust runs out the roof of the building. Let's see if we can get back out of here. So he had a pretty heavy duty log deck made up here. Some pretty good I beams. Those are probably 12 inch I beams. And then uh, right here was the operator station. Had the old tachometer. I never ran this mill. I wasn't, uh, I remember it running when I was a kid. But uh, different levers here. Everything homemade. There was a throttle. 
I'm sure an engage for the for the drive system. I believe this thing here, you step down on this. And that would engage your carriage. See down in here, there's a pretty significant pulley system that runs the log carriage. Right in there is where the Right in there is where the blade would have been mounted. Then underneath this tin here is a couple of pulleys and stuff. We'll get into the drive system. I'll go around the other side here in a minute. And this is the log carriage. It's what you use to secure the logs down on. This stuff was obviously manufactured. Um, and this is the handle here that you would use to move the, the log over on the carriage. And then that white wheel there had increments on it. So you, as you cranked that handle, you knew how far you were moving the, the log out for your next cut. Pretty neat old stuff, cast iron wheels. There's three of these clamps on here. This log carriage is, I don't know, it's gotta be 16 feet long at least. Not sure on the manufacturer of any of this stuff. I haven't really saw any kind of stamps on it or, or anything like that. Then of course over there is the sawdust conveyor. We'll go around and take a look at that. There's a pretty interesting uh, feature on that unit. We'll walk around here. We are gonna repurpose these beams and get these set up and make our own log deck for the wood miser. So we'll be pulling these up. Here's the pulley for the, to run the carriage, heavy duty stuff. And these old posts here, were just kind of securing the whole thing. Like I say, I bet you 50% of this thing was, was homemade for sure. One other little interesting point, this little Ford here, this was the, what he used for the shed to store all the, all the tools for the sawmill in. And uh, who knows, I think the floor is pretty good in it still. We may, uh, we may utilize this again at some point. There it is, Ford Falcon van. I have no idea what year this thing is. Pretty cool old van. All right, let's get around to the sawdust conveyor. I asked my dad about this just the other day. We were looking at this and uh, I thought it was a gear reduction of sorts. Well, I guess it is. So this area here was dug down so you could run this old trailer right here. And then the Sawdust would come off the conveyor into the trailer. When the trailer got full, you just loaded it up and away you went. Drive the next trailer in or dump it off. I don't really remember what, what he did with the, with the sawdust. I'm sure he sold some of it. This conveyor is all homemade. Here's the thing I found interesting with the conveyor system for the sawdust. See if I can get in here. It was powered by an old electric motor. You got your <clears throat> you got your pulley here, excuse me. But this gearbox here, I thought it was, like I say, a, a regular gear reduction, but it's actually yep, watch your step. It's actually an old transmission. It's 
got a sprocket welded on it. That's what drove the sawdust conveyor. That's how the belt was put together. Pretty interesting stuff. Back in the day, you used what you had. Apparently that was a transmission. Let's see if I can get down out of here without dying. Take a little walk in here. And get a little better view this side here. Say that's where the blade mounted and your sawdust conveyor went up. And you can get a little better look at the at the pulleys there and the drive. This was the outfeed conveyor where you took your boards off. A little electric motor powered it down on the end there. I hit the switch the other day up by the operator station and uh, that motor actually still turns on. Pretty impressive for sitting outside uncovered for 30 years or more. So here's the, another interesting thing. Um, that's an old uh, late model tire and wheel and that was used to drive the mill. This belt run up to that pulley up there and that would, uh, you just air up that tire till the belt was snug and away it went. Pretty innovative stuff for back in the day. I right, see if I can get around here. Say so here's the here's the wood yard. Another old trailer that was probably used for hauling. This might have been the slab trailer. Nice old hubcap on there. Pontiac Motor Division. So here's where the drive shaft from the bus motor comes out. I believe that's a Ford differential. I'm not sure. I, I originally I thought it was a nine inch, but that hosing looks larger than a nine inch. Not sure on the vintage, but for whatever reason, there was a wheel on the other side. That wheel served no purpose. But that's how you got your power out of the engine house to the sawmill head. Originally, before we decided to buy the wood miser, we were going to resurrect this old old mill and saw lumber with it. And I told my dad, if he wants to make enough money sawing lumber with the wood miser, maybe we should do that at some point. It would have to be a complete tear down. Everything was built, all the conveyors, everything was built on just wooden posts. Everything's rotted out of the right at the ground level and stuff. So. It would be uh, be quite the undertaking. I think it's one of those someday jobs, some someday project. And then he had these turnbuckles here, so you could adjust your alignment of your differential, and also you don't want you don't want it taken off on you. So that's about my Nichols tour on the old sawmill. A little bit of history. I remember this mill running when I was a young kid, when that uh, 52 inch blade was spinning around at however many RPMs it turned. Man, you could hear that thing for a long ways away. Okay, I came back over to uh, do my wrap up here of the sawmill tour. 
back next to the old Packard here. And lo and behold, sitting right here in the weeds <coughs> is the original power plant that he used for the sawmill. Still got the, the homemade carriage bolted to it. I think this was the, I don't think this was a 306. I think it was the smaller version. See there, there's a homemade choke cable on it. Not sure what they were running for transmission. There's a transmission bolted to it. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Thanks everybody for coming along and checking out the old sawmill. If you uh, like the content, please consider hitting the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. Hit the like button, all that stuff. Um, stay tuned for upcoming wood miser sawing videos. Thanks everybody. Have a great day.